Over time, cyber attacks have increased many fold in the level of sophistication that they come with. Now, on this note, one of the latest and the most sophisticated attacks are known to employ a tactic which is being referred to as zero click. What does that really mean and how severe can it be? Well, for starters, zero click, as the name suggests, is literally that in the sense that it does not require any click to be enforced. Typically, a cyber breach takes place when a user inadvertently clicks on a link, downloads a wrong attachment or goes into a wrong website which has malicious tool loaded in it. These all require voluntary clicks from a user and typically a hacker is then required to set out a plot where a user is directed into this malicious route. However, in case of these zero-click attacks, a hacker does not really need to redirect a user into such an elaborate trap. Instead, these attacks employ further tactics such as peer phishing and more advanced ways of reaching out to a user in order to install certain tools on their phones. Now, these tools or Trojans or malware are of a specific kind and in cybersecurity parlance are referred to as spyware. These spyware can be targeted tracking tools which are not meant for mass surveillance but for targeting specific users like the Pegasus attack which is being talked about right now. Now these tools employ zero click because they typically target individuals in places of power who may have a fair amount of knowledge in terms of cybersecurity and may therefore not be tricked into clicking on links which many other users or many other common place users might be tricked into. Zero click on this note does not leave behind any tracks or any traces in terms of this being a malicious attack in the sense that it might land up in your inbox as a valid attachment from a contact that you trust such as an office email address of yours. Now in such cases a user is most likely going to be tempted into downloading the attachment if they are convinced that this has in fact reached from an official email address. During this entire process a user does not require to take any steps or download any unverified links or sources and this zero click attack therefore enables itself in the background of a user's smartphone or a device which is being targeted. The more severe traces is that it does not leave behind any identifiers in the sense that even pretty advanced users may not be able to immediately guess or understand that they are being tracked or their devices have been infected. Small identifiers, for instance, devices heating up or calls getting disconnected or screens taking a lot of time to load are things which sometimes come up in these highly specialized spyware which use these zero click attack formulated ideas but these are vague signals in the sense that they can be caused by a lot of other things which happen to a smartphone over time on a regular basis as well as a result Cyber security advocates have over time stated how these attacks are one of the most sophisticated and therefore represent some of the biggest challenges in the cyber security world right now. Zero click attacks are also not the most commonplace and obviously among the most sophisticated cyber attack tools in the world which use some of the most deepest underlying zero-day hacks or zero-day flaws which are there in most commonly used software. Now zero-day flaws are flaws which are not or have not been reported to the companies who have been promoting these apps and these apps typically entail widely used software for instance iMessages on Apple itself. Now Apple as a company is generally quite serious about security but even then there are certain flaws in the framework of most apps and most software in the world which have bugs that can be exploited and it is these that these zero click attacks exploit. In other sense, zero click attacks exploit zero day hacks to make sure that the world of cyber security may not have an immediate answer towards stopping the tool. So it is unlikely that when this zero click attack is enforced, 
a user is most likely not going to have any sort of protection prior even if they are cautious even if they are careful and even if they have an antivirus installed in their system